Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. Alright, let's check it out what we got for you right now. We have a German beauty. Beautiful, beautiful car. I found them very attractive, very modern. What we got for you right now is a 143 scale BMW X4. These cars came out, they started coming out in 2014. There's two generations so far. The first generation came out in two, 2014 all the way down to 2018. And that was the first generation. The second generation, they came out in 2018. And they still running till today's date, the same style. There's not big of a difference between the, the first and the second generation. The looks are very similar, just the front, a few di differences here and there, like the fog lights, but it's not a big difference. The rear also, maybe the interior, I'm not too familiar with the interior and in the new ones, but there must be some type of differences, obviously. But these cars were assembled in the assembly line. There were many different countries. They had in in United States, in Brazil, in Thailand, in Malaysia, in Russia, and in Egypt. So, quite a few different places. I'm curious, how was not ever built in... Germany. I wonder if this model was actually sold in Europe. If you are from Europe, please let me know if you remember seeing the, the X4. I'm just a bit surprised. Well, Russia is in Europe, but usually when they go for Russian market, they also go, they don't really think about the whole European market. But um, going back to the car. I like the slanted, sportier look, you know, the rear. It reminds me of a few other models, like uh, there's one from Mercedes-Benz and one from Audi, that they all had that slanted rear. And they all were very sporty looking cars, very modern looking. Uh, some of them sold better than others. I think the Mercedes-Benz was the one that sold the best. Uh, the BMW X4, it was... It was okay. It, it didn't sell in big quantities probably the way they would have rather. Now, let me talk about engine-wise. They had a 2.0. All these engines were turbo, by the way. A 2.0 and a 3.0. Now, diesel, those gas engines before. Diesel, they also had a 2.0 and a 3.0 um, in the diesel engine. And then transmission-wise, they had a six-speed manual stick shift or a eight-speed automatic. I'm looking at it as, as it goes around. I'm just admiring this car. It's, it's very attractive, very, very different. You know, when you're expecting a BMW, you're either expecting an SUV or you're expecting a, a sedan. Or maybe a station wagon. But when you're getting something that's not any of those. That's like a SUV sporty type. You're like, um, what is going on here? Where, where? But you know what? It's good. It's, they're trying to bring different options. And that's good. Because you want to make sure that you have. You want to um, please everybody. The color, maybe a different color would have been more acceptable to me. Um, maybe silver sometimes is not the color that most people want. I like it probably in a red would have been nice. Or in a black also. A black would have been really, really attractive. They make them in black. It's just that this model is in... In silver. Now look at those wheels. By the way, this guy looks exactly how they look in real life. I seen them and I could tell you. You can even pull up in pictures. You can Google the model and you can see. 
Now, you know, I questioned before, and this is my fault, I should have done a bit more investigation. I said, was this car ever sold in Europe? And now this is going around and around. I'm looking at the license plate, and it says D. D is for Dutchland, I think it's called, and they call Germany, in German, Dutchland. So obviously, this car was sold in Europe. It was just not built in Germany, but it was sold, at least in Germany. <laughs> Let me know again in the comments below where they sold in your country. That's, you know, always good to know about the car. All right, guys, so I'm going to let it go around a few times, and I'll be right, right back. All right, guys. So, what do you guys think about this car? Do you find them out of your out of your league, out of your choice? Because you're not sure if it's a SUV, a sedan, a hatchback. I think it's the best of all. Has a bit of a sedan, but with a SUV size and the height, which that's a, what a lot of people like about the SUVs is the height. Because we all going to be realistic when a lot of us buy an SUV, we don't go off-roading. We just like the height and it makes it gives you a better view of the road and you feel a little bit more secure that you are a little bit higher above from the road. So that's this car gives you that plus it gives you the style of, an S, of a sedan or, or a five-door hatchback. A little bit of all world, all, the best of all worlds. <laughs> all right, guys, don't forget to give me that beautiful thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. Do you see them on the road a lot? Have you ever drove one of these? Uh, were they reliable? Or are they still reliable? Because this, this is not a very old car. Don't forget to give me a beautiful thumbs up. I always appreciate. And don't forget to click and subscribe. Take care of yourselves more than ever, and goodbye.